Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. Today, I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Scorpio. So, let's get into it. So, angels, what's the tea for Scorpio? So, Scorpio, we got let go. So, you're going to have to let go of something to make room for something new. This can be... Yeah... There is some type of new beginning on its way to you now. Somebody could have did a love spell on you. Okay. This could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this could have been when you was either vacationing or traveling towards this person. Yeah, so that they can spy. So somebody wants to travel towards you. Okay. To spy on you. This can be somebody with pets or a pet that's at a distance from you, okay? Yeah, this motherfucker is a liar, okay? Why is let go here? Yeah, so I don't know if this is an earth sign and an air sign that's trying to travel towards you and you didn't let them go because they did a love spell on you. Yeah, they tried to, they witched you. They did some type of spell on you. A uh, earth sign. Because they felt like you had someone else. This is a fucking narcissist who you went on a date with. And because you moved on, this person could have been like they were pregnant. This could have been a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, yes. You're being warned that this person is out here having some type of sexual chemistry Reminiscing about you. This is somebody who took a gamble on you. And it's because of some type of addiction they had. This person could have even had bad finances. Yeah, you moved away from this person. And now they got challenges going on. And it's because of the decisions that they made. It's somebody that's needing to work on their inner healing. Mm-mm-mm. And so you got motherfuckers wanting to travel towards you that you need to let go because they bewitched you. Okay? Yeah, these are people that set a distance from you or you distance yourself from. And it's because they are a fucking liar that has sexual problems. They don't know if they want to be gay, straight. <laughs> no. But they want you to open up your heart so that they can keep you in a fucking cycle. Yeah, this is somebody who wants you to commit to them. But you need to listen to your fucking intuition about them. Okay? T. What's going on for Scorpio? What do Scorpio need to know? Yeah, this was a lesson that you lived and learned from. Yeah. So, the purpose for this was for you to live and learn. Yeah, so that you can gain. Or so that you can profit or cultivate something. Or so that something can come to a conclusion. Yes. It's like <laughs> whoever plants something, they plant this thinking that they was going to teach you a lesson. This is the purpose behind this. They thought they was going to gain something. Now they need your help. So you have somebody planning your life thinking that they can cause you karma. Thinking that they can teach you lessons. <laughs> this could have happened in the past. Now they're scared. Because they're going to be homeless. This is somebody that's going to be casted away. And they're going to be feeling like a failure. Because you already lived and learned. From whatever little lesson they tried to teach you. Thinking they was going to gain something. Yeah, they want you to show mercy to them. Mm -mm -mm. So what's the real tea? Five of Wands. You got a group of people. That's basically competing with each other. Okay. And with the seven of pentacles, this is looking like, this is what a Taurus planned. Five of wands and a Leo. This was done by people being in their ego. So it's a group of motherfuckers in their ego, plotting and fucking planning. Yeah, seven of swords, trying to get away with a betrayal. Trying to get away with some type of scam or scheme. 
Yeah, death card. They're trying to get away with some type of death or murder or ending. Or somebody is trying to lie about why something ended with you. Or somebody is trying to lie about how something ended. Or somebody is trying to lie about a death. Period. But I really feel as though somebody is trying to lie about why you no longer want to partner up with them. And why you ended something with them. <laughs> That's what's going on. This could have been a friend or a lover. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups, this is somebody who have emotions for you. Okay? Yeah, but with the Page of Pentacles, this is somebody who came up with a plan against you. Scam card. Because they were in their ego. So not only do you have a liar and a cheater, this is also somebody who tried to end something for you. Ace of Cups, some type of love offer with a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this was a childish ass towards Virgo Capricorn. Who could have even been practicing studying you? Scrim card. <laughs> you overpowered this person. This is somebody who sees that you are showing them grace. <laughs> With the Three of Pentacles, this could be a group of motherfuckers that tried to lie about a death. Or tried to lie about an ending. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah. People are lying about why you moved on. Why you let them go. A queen of pentacles? So you got a Taurus Vera Capricorn out here lying to people. Trying to get away with some shit. And it's because you moved on. Yeah, this queen of pentacles is in this eight of swords energy now. This is somebody that's going to be facing either purgatory or jail time. Tower. Yeah, they're all about to go through a setting up evil. Because something has backfired. And <laughs> it's giving... Whatever a little illusion, whatever little sick, twisted mind fuckery they was playing, that shit is blowing up in their face. And it's nothing they can do about it. Mm-mm-mm. And it's because you moved on from this liar. <laughs> Why is the death card here? Yeah, I'm saying that you transformed, Scorpio. Yeah, seven of wands. So, because you transformed, because you are not recognizable, People can't pinpoint you. People can't say, oh, yeah, you know, because you're not who you used to be. People can't, can't go off of what you used to be in the past. Seven of Wands. This is why people were envious and jealous of you. Because people wanted to block you. They wanted to block you for going through a transformation. Seven of Pentacles. So they started plotting and planning. Six of Wands. Thinking that it was going to get clouded. Two of Cups. If they partner up with you, not a Cups. I'm also seeing that you could be dealing with a Pisces Cancer. I'm saying that this person is about to give you your flowers. This is somebody that you've been in a relationship with possibly seven years. I got seven years, two months, and six days. <laughs> so you could be dealing with somebody for seven months. I mean, seven years, two months, and six days. Knight of Cups energy. You also got a Pisces and whoever they partner up with. Whoever they partner up with, this person is being exposed for what they was invested in. Eight of Swords. And it's having them mentally stuck in trap and about to efface a tower. So a Pisces and it's um, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they partner up to block you and end something for you. And it's because they was envious of your position. <laughs> People didn't like the fact that you were higher than them or you, po you possibly higher ranked than them. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You're very intelligent, intellectual. You make Head over heart. Yeah, you defeated somebody with a mind game. So somebody tried to play mind games with you, but they did not know that you were the queen of swords. It's, it's giving... Yes, this person is 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 low ranked than you. Somebody, oh my God. Somebody tried to somebody tried to attack you and you are high ranked than them. Period. It's, all, it's here. Death card, seven of wands. Somebody is mad that you transformed. You're in this queen of swords energy. You're not recognizable. Five of swords. You defeated them. Empress, you're in this Empress energy now. Two of Cups when it comes to a partnership. Nine of Cups, but you still got a Pisces. Eight of Swords that's feeling mentally stuck in trap or that's wanting you to be mentally stuck in trap. And they are about to go through a tower because something is backfiring. Jeez. Why is the Ace of Cups here? For Scorpio? Yes. <laughs> so somebody that's trying to make a love offer to you, this person is not able to come near you. With the Three of Wands reversed, they are being blocked from coming towards you. Page of Cups in reverse. And it's because they haven't apologized to you. The Tower for trying to cause you a, a, a upheaval. Trying to cause you chaos. Moon card in secret. Seven of Pentacles. This is what this person was invested in. 
hanging, sabotaging you, two of cups because of a partnership you were in or because they wanted to partner up with you. Why is the page of pentacles here? This was a student, somebody who was watching you, studying you. So it's giving somebody tried to sabotage you because they wanted you to partner up with them. Get If you don't get your weird ass out of here and learn your own lessons, yeah, whoever this childish ass Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is, they in the Eight of Swords energy. This person is in purgatory. Or they're mentally stuck in trap. Their hands is all tied. They are powerless. They can't do shit. Seven of Pentacles. And it's because they invested hangman on sabotaging you to a cups because somebody chose you to partner up with. A Knight of Cups. So you could be dealing with a younger Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is somebody who has... This is a hopeless... This, this is somebody who is, is very in love with... You. Bro, yes. You are dealing with a younger Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And this motherfucker's family was out here trying to defeat you. Because you was this empress. Because you was this creative, abundant being. So, they were hating. Like I said, you could really be dealing with a younger Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. And it's like, this person, family... Because it keeps showing up. His family, three of them, to be the exact, all teamed up. Five of Swords to play mind games with you. Ten of Swords wanted to defeat you. <laughs> they wanted you to miss an opportunity. But you healed <laughs> from whoever this was that was trying to control you, dominate you, put their foot on your neck. Why is the scrim card here? Like I said, you overpowered whoever the fuck this was. Yeah. Because you're stronger than them, they're crying. <laughs> I'm saying that you no longer even want to be friends with these people anymore. Yeah. And you not wanting to be friends with them anymore. I'm also hearing, you could have been dealing with a Leo who, who attacked you because they was in the ego. And it's because they wanted you to feel sad. Sorrow and regret. But what this person did not know is that with this five of cups energy, shit was just going to get better for you because you already reached the bottom. <laughs> so with the wheel of fortune being here, you're now on top of the wheel. The wheel is in your favor. And this is causing somebody else to feel betrayed because they was out here trying to act like everything was fine. This could be a Gemini. Yeah, 10 of wands, something was too hard to do with these friends. Yeah, they all were celebrating. Tower. Causing you chaos. <sighs> causing you towers in your life. Knight of Pentacles slowing up your finances in, in the past. This is what they was doing in the past. Now you're in this King of Swords energy. Making head over heart decisions. Holding back for people who no longer resonate with you. And you're out here shining, baby. You're out here giving people hope and faith. And motherfuckers miss the opportunity with you. Because you're listening to your intuition. And you're going in a brand new direction. And whoever this is that's still bitter, still trying to go back and forth with you, they're only doing that because they're realizing that you are the emperor. You are somebody's divine feminine, a king of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. I'm also seeing the mother of this king of cups. They're going to get karma. Whoever this queen of wands is, Aries, Leo, or Sag, they caused a heavy imbalance to your finances, to your stability. And with the two of swords, they tried to blind you of that. Three of swords, because they were heartbroken. They were going through trauma. Nine of swords, so they tried to attack you. Eight of wands with projections. Nine of swords, just because they wanted you to be in this hopeless fear energy. Ace of wands, they did, they took some type of action. Whoever this queen of wands is, they took some type of action. Three of pentacles in a group of people, or they did candle magic on you because this group of people paid them. Now they're under fucking judgment. Mm -hmm. Nine of wands, because that was an impulsive ass action. Temperance, that's also caused. You also got a Sagittarius here as well. Mm -hmm. This person is under judgment as well because they took up impulsive ass action. Trying to be a contract, trying to be a conflict of interest. Four of Swords, they got to lay that shit to rest now. Whoever this, whoever this Sagittarius who was in and out of your life, this person is a conflict of interest. This is somebody that something has been laid to rest with. This was your divine masculine. It was. But with the world, that cycle has ended. With this King of Wands, who was your twin flame, Queen of Cups. And it's because he created an illusion. Nine of Wands, and it's because he wanted you to be in this defensive-ass energy. 
feeling like you had to fight against everyone. Everybody was against you. This is how this person wanted you to feel. <laughs> so they did magic on you. Moon, to have you in an illusion. Ten of Pentacles, when it came to a family or when it came to your family. <laughs> or when it came to your abundance. Or when it came to your happiness, your stability. Eight of Pentacles, something that you worked for. Yeah, you was this badass being. Mm -hmm, that was full of life and possibilities, but the divine is here. You are with the divine, but the devil, <laughs> he or she, because this could be a Taurus Capricorn energy who wanted to play God in your life, but they're demonic. Mm -mm. Yeah, this motherfucker was the one that was doing magic on you because you matched yourself. You had eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles, and they couldn't go for that. So this person wanted to make it seem like you was toxic. They wanted to play God in your life. Nine of Pentacles for money. Five of Pentacles because they was in poverty. Ace of Swords and that's the motherfucking truth. They thought they was going to receive good news with the Page of Wands. But with the Sun card, they're being exposed. Five of Wands for causing this conflict. Because they was envious and jealous of you. A, a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Rigger, Capricorn, and a Queen of Pentacles. Both of these are air signs. I mean, earth signs. Both of these people are earth signs. And they're going to have to walk away. Six of Pentacles for trying to take something from you. Chariot, because you got victory and success. Ten of Cups, and your wishes are coming true. Nine of Cups, your wishes are coming true. Six of Wands, you have victory and success. You are getting your flowers, the lovers, in a partnership. Hermit, and it's because you ghosted someone. Not only did you ghost someone, you actually healed your wounds. You actually did introspection. Took some time to go within and heal yourself. After somebody betrayed you. And then they had the nerve to be watching. Yeah, two of one, somebody is watching the path that you chose. I'm also saying that you had an Aries who was watching you. Who was watching that somebody was betraying you. Yeah, a Virgo, lover of theirs. So you got an Aries who watch you get betrayed by a Virgo, lover of theirs. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. And this was all supposed to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Ooh, this was all supposed to teach you a lesson. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, a mob fight broke out. And it's because of these lies. This is somebody who caused their own self-injuries. When setting shit up behind the scenes backfire. <laughs> Do you see how that hit? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, somebody is an emotional wreck. Because they have a lot on their mind. Yeah, it was all funny games until that karma... Hey, motherfuckers ain't laughing no more. Because <sighs> no protection. This person is not protected. They're being judged for what they have done to you. Whether they know it or not. So, I hope they ready. Who is this that's not protected? Justice. This is karmic justice. For you, because you are an earth angel. Four of Cups, and somebody tried to make you miss the opportunity. Moon card, we're creating illusions. Full card, knowing that you were innocent. Hermit, a Virgo. Mm. Why is it was all funny games to karma? Who, what, what, what's this about? Yeah, this is an emperor. Somebody who could be even your father. A father figure in your life. This motherfucker heartbroken. Because they chose the third party. To have a brand new beginning with. And ghosted you. This motherfucker... Even tried to slow up your finances. And then they want to apologize. Mm-mm-mm. Eight of cups. Because you walked away from them. Mm-hmm. Why is they're being judged for what they've done? Yeah, eight of cups. This Pisces. And this childish ass Toys Rigger Capricorn with this page of Pentacles who was watching you. They are about to go through an ending. Because something is being laid to rest. And it's because you healed. Your wishes are coming true. You're coming out of poverty. And you're going to be in the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever magic somebody did, they did it because they was insecure. The fuck? Out here attacking you because they insecure. Like, bitch, fix your own confidence. Bitch, I don't owe you shit. 